Je, je m'appelle Gregoire. <laughs> Did you guys watch the World Cup? Yeah, it was awesome, wasn't it? I know, it's not hockey, so I'll explain what it is to all y'all. <laughs> it's like the Stanley Cup, but America doesn't get to win. Walk it off, poutine eaters. <laughs> Everyone watches the World Cup. That's why they call it the World Cup. It's popular everywhere, even in North America now, except for a few unreconstructed fat white guys you see on sports casting right or I don't like it. I don't know why anyone likes this. It's too slow and they don't score enough and no one dies. <laughs> you learn things when you watch the World Cup. Like when you watch the Olympics, you find out about countries you didn't know existed. You're like, snackaroon. What's snackaroon? <laughs> Cote d'Ivoire? Qu'est-ce que c'est Cote d'Ivoire? Why is there an Ivory Coast? Isn't that illegal? <laughs> Stop poaching. Leave those elephants alone, Ivory Coast. <laughs> I have news for you. Fellas, women love World Cup football because it is a bunch of hot guys with giant marbled thighs and hairy chest kicking each other in the man bag. Yeah. I know why people watch, it's opera. It's total opera, it's so dramatic. Every goddamn player on the pitch is a total drama queen. When the Colombian team lost, they cried. Is there any other sport where people cry? In women's tennis, they don't go, oh my God, I lost. The Colombian team was like, why? <laughs> Two guys brush by each other. They don't even barely touch each other. One will fall to the ground as if he's been mortally wounded. Oh my God! Por qué? Por qué? Mama! Mama! Then they come running on with a bassinet. Give them the magic sponge, whatever's in that, some mixture of methamphetamine and sedatives. So you won't feel your broken ribs till the fucking match is over. Then they carry them off the pitch. The guy's yelling, oh my God! They take them off as soon as they cross the touch line. Like Jesus fucking Christ, they jump up and resurrect themselves. I'm back on! <laughs> I thought you were dead. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a World Cup miracle. It's crazy town. There's no other sport we play like that. In baseball, if you get hit with a pitch, you see this guy standing there, 95 mile an hour fastball, bang! Right in the shoulder. They don't even touch it. You know it hurts like Satan's fucking cock. <laughs> don't even touch it. They just walk to first. <laughs> the English invented the beautiful game. And you can tell it was invented by them, even though they don't play it that well anymore. They went out in the first round, they lost to like, what, Bermuda's under 15 side or whatever. <laughs> but you can tell it's British, how? Because of the officiating, right? There's 22 guys on the pitch, kicking each other in the man bag, bashing each other in the head, smashing each other in the nose, and there's one official in shorts running backwards with a can of shaving cream strapped to his ass. <laughs> stop it, stop it. I can see what you're doing over there. Suarez, stop eating the Italian players. You'll spoil your dinner. <laughs> But how you know it's British is how they treat the offenders. If someone commits a foul, he takes out a book. I'm writing her name down. Now everyone will know what you have done. I hope you feel awful about how you behaved. Then if they really do something bad, like kick a guy and his brain falls out or something, yellow card. Mm -hmm. Now everyone knows that you've transgressed. And if you do something beyond the pale of comprehension, the red card. <laughs> oh, I hope you feel terrible about what you've done. You've let down your side, you've let down your country, you've let down the scruffy-faced children in the street. I want you to go back into the locker room and ruminate about how terribly you've behaved. Come back out when you're ready to play this game again. Give it some thought. <laughs> Suarez bit the Italian player. Is it ironic that the player with the most pronounced overbite in all of sports <laughs> chomped another player on the way down? His excuse was he was falling and he used his teeth to break the fall. <laughs> Common occurrence. How many times have you been dizzy to party and go like, wow, I'm gonna, ah! 
And then just bite someone's ass off. Good night, everyone. Thank you.